This next bit of footage highlights the production of a 1956 Hollywood film entitled Toward the Unknown. This film was directed by Merwin Leroy, a director possibly best known for the film 30 Seconds Over Tokyo. He also produced the film Wizard of Oz and directed certain segments of that film. He's also well known for having assisted John Wayne with directing on the film The Green Berets. The film tells the story of an anguished Korean War prisoner of war played by William Holden who had cracked under Korean custody and is trying to reconnect with his life back in the United States in the years after the war. The film also marks the first film appearance of a young actor by the name of James Garner who would later go on to great success as a television and film actor. It's interesting to note that one of the later films and more recent films in James Garner's career was the 2000 Clint Eastwood film Space Cowboys which ironically features a fictional two-seat X-2 aircraft. The Air Force was quite generous in their support of the production of this film as you can see from this footage here. All of the footage you're seeing was taken by Air Force cameras and is not footage that appears in the actual film. Unfortunately, the film Toward the Unknown is not currently available either on VHS tape or DVD. The rights to the film are currently owned and controlled by the William Holden estate. I should mention a wonderful reference website on the Bell X2 that was a tremendous help to me in researching this particular portion of our DVD. The website bellx2.com is a private website apparently maintained by an individual who just has a great fondness for the X2 aircraft and part of that website is a, is a great little subsite covering the production of this film. The film apparently centers not only around the X2 but around a fictional aircraft called the Gilbert XF-120. The Gilbert XF-120 is represented in the film by the experimental Martin XB-51 bomber. While it's unfortunate that the film isn't available in any commercial video format at this time, it does pop up on cable TV from time to time. 